Is your cable TV company asking too much from you? Free yourself from the cable bill. Use Boxy. <laughs> Hello, this is Pox. Welcome to Apple TV Hacking, episode one. <laughs> uh, all the show notes for everything that you're gonna see today are gonna be available at twosmartguys.com. And today we're just gonna go ahead and hack an Apple TV. We're gonna make a little USB stick and load Boxy and uh, Xbox Media Center so that you're not restricted to just using QuickTime videos. You can view any kind of format. And with Boxy, you've got the social media aspect where you can view all your television content, like uh, from Hulu.com, CBS.com, and uh, whole YouTube, all these other different online websites, and share what you're viewing with your friends. So let's go ahead and get started. First step is to make a bootable USB stick. There's a few different ways of doing this. You can use the HP Boot Disk Creator utility on PC or on Mac. You can, or Mac or PC, what I did is I just went ahead and downloaded the Xbox Media Center Live CD and installed it to a USB drive. And that makes it bootable. So that was a pretty easy way to do it and to play around with Xbox Media Center on a PC. Launch a disk utility and make note of the disk ID. Then launch your Apple TV ATV USB creator, download in our show notes, and select your drive and go ahead and create the patch stick. And this will install everything to essentially jailbreak your Apple TV. And it gives you the option to download the newest versions of Xbox Media Center as well as Boxy. Insert the USB stick into your Apple TV and plug it, plug it back in. It'll boot up a little Linux, patch it. And uh, after it does that, make sure to turn off the screensaver because this can have issues with inside both Boxy and Xbox Media Center you'll see that there's two new menus inside the Apple TV. Go ahead and go into Boxy, run the update. It'll download the newest version of Boxy. After it's been downloaded, you can go ahead and launch Boxy to give it a shot. Now, Boxy is in alpha at the moment, uh, and you will have to go to the website and request a username and a password to try it out. Boxy is just an up just a, another layer of the Xbox Media Center essentially and it can do everything that it could do with the addition of being able to track what videos you view and share them with your friends. In addition it also gives you the ability to watch online flash video websites such as Hulu, uh, Comedy Central, a whole bunch of different ones. <laughs> I can't name them all off the top of my head. And also play back your DivX 720p content that you download from wherever or create yourself. Check out Terminator. <laughs> Looks pretty cool, 720p. You can also do the same thing with Xbox Media Center if you don't want to bother with sharing your recommendations of what you watch and whatnot. Although there's some pretty cool stuff in Boxy. Um, so I recommend that you try them both out. It's a great upgrade. And now you have the capability of viewing 720p content on your Apple TV. It looks beautiful. It's a really easy to use interface. If you had an Xbox uh, Media Center hacked up, this is a good upgrade. That's what I've been using it for. You can also run this on an, a Mac Mini um, or a PC hooked up to your TV. But this is by far the cheapest solution when I was at, uh, looking into building one from components. So good luck. Uh, Check out our website, twosmartguys.com, for links to any of the files needed from this episode. Also, our forums um, at twosmartguys.com slash forums. There are tons of knowledgeable people in there. They'll be more than willing to help you out with any questions you have. Uh, subscribe to our feed if you like our shows, and we'll keep making more. Plus, we have uh, DVDs available of some previous shows. If you donate 10 bucks, we'll give you a copy. We'll see you next time on Two Smart Guys podcast, internet show thing. This has been a Two Smart Guys production. <laughs>